Hey folks, welcome to episode 9 of this Let's Play series of Caster of Magic. In the last episode, we had uh, what I thought was a nail-biting battle, but um, you might have found quite slow and odd. <laughs> and played by a guy who's not very good at the game. Your mileage may vary there. But um, yeah, we are this next round, we're going to try and get back in there and finish that battle, I think. So... Um, I want to get a bit of a navy going because I'm I'm kind of sick of being defeated in these in these straits here between these two continents. Now, I reckon we should uh, once we've got a few more of these troops out here, I'm gonna get a few more basic swordsmen. I think, but we might go for some javelin ears. Uh, I want to develop this place as quickly as possible. Now, I don't know if lizard men can have shaman or not. I forget now um, whether they can. Yeah. Okay. So we 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 can actually get it. Might queue that up. Uh, so we can get a shaman out, so we can start making use of this of this metal here. And I think that was Mithril, if I remember right. Let's just patrol that. You're gonna purify. Uh, we've got some halberdiers here. Now what we want here is anything that make can make use of this production bonus that we're getting. So I would expect Maybe a Mechanician's Guild. That will give us a pretty big production bonus. And we can build catapults, which can kind of useful later. So let's patrol those. Patrol that boat there. Um, we know what's in this in this dungeon now. These werewolves can't take it out. They uh, they'll be able to defend against the gargoyles. Uh, they should they might be able to take out the uh, fire elementals. But what we want here is uh, magicians. We want lots of them as well. We can get like four magicians. We should be able to take down that gargoyle, I think. Uh, oh, these guys are just chasing me down. Let's just flee again. I think they'll probably lose it this time. Ah, oh, we still got away. So we've got some. Um, we've. I just noticed that we've got some a floating island and some ships incoming. Evil River's grown to twenty-one. Death Marsh at fourteen. Um, okay, so those are still building magicians. To, let's move those two. No, I'm going to keep building magicians. I, I, I'm not going to leave my towns undefended. Uh, as you know, we can, we've had big problems with that. Um, here, I think we're going to get some more. Build some wolf riders. Probably got enough ships for the time being. Maybe that will do for the time being here. Now, I want to see where those. What was in these ships? Oh, we don't know what's in that galley or this floating island. There's likely to be something in there. Here's what cavalry's for. Let's see if what we can see. Okay, there's nothing in there. Interesting. Hold on. Oh, we've already built a road here. So... Okay, so we've got a new settlement. Skull Top sounds like a good place to me. Okay, excellent news. And um, we're going to get this settler down here. Can't build anything around this side, can we? Around here either. Oh, we could put one here. Right on the end. It's going to be a pretty small rubbish town though. But everything, I mean, something's better than nothing generally. Providing you're not costing, providing you're not draining things like food. Um, it's usually a good idea to do it anyway. But I think we should move these settlers. Probably down this direction to start thinking about getting down here, so... Uh, we don't want to be building any more settlers here. So let's change this. I get a shrine up quickly, just get those... Uh, get those, popula uh, those power points. Roll those there. Right, let's go and take this out again. Ah, oh, Serena died. All oh, right, never mind. That was fairly inevitable wasn't it it's okay we've got another hero there will be plenty more heroes get these werewolves in quickly this time no messing 
There we go. Okay, job done. And this was a clack on town, wasn't it? Yeah, we want to raise it. So we looted some gold at least. Um, but yeah, we, let's just have a look at the historian and we, you'll just see what effect that this has on Tauron. Oops, that's the wrong one. Uh, historian is F4, so there we go. So, uh, I mean, it wasn't a particularly important place for him. But it, every little helps, right? This is something we can't fight. So we might actually lose these. Because those sprites, they're pretty fast, I think. Oh, they've got movement too. Uh, we might be okay, because we're actually faster than them. We'll see. We'll see what happens there. I do need to start building up more forces. That's that's absolutely clear to me now. So let's go to Black Tower. Oh, we've got more magicians coming out too. Let's flee these. Okay, we lost that swordsman. I'm not really that bothered. Okay, so I'm going to start moving these guys. I'm going to start moving them over to here and I'm going to attack this. I'm going to attack Merlin's village here. I think we're all at war, aren't we? Oh no, Merlin's not at war with us. Um, we will be at war with him eventually. <laughs> Look, some more rampaging monsters again. Fire elementals and gargoyles. A nasty combination. Really, really nasty. Um, okay, let's get this. Let's get these guys over this direction here. And these magicians are going to start uh, getting down here. Patrol those. Okay, that's just a galley by the looks of it. Just patrol. I'm going to patrol him there, just so that we've got we've got an eye on what's going on up this direction. Hail, mighty battle mode! I bear greetings and words of wisdom. I pledge my eternal friendship and loyalty in exchange for an alliance. I mean, whilst I I like the idea of an alliance, he is also quite strong. He's basically doing this so that I don't attack his villages. I mean, that he's just set up some new villages there. Let's go for it, because we are at war, right? And I might be able to drag him into the war with me, if he's not already done so. Here's the Mechanician's Guild. You see, uh, one thing you'll notice, this is really not optimal play. I've put my cities a little bit too close to one another, as you've seen. But never mind. Um, what do I want here? Not an oracle. Sage's Guild would be good for the research points, but I think I, at, this, at this moment we're going to need some... We, we are going to need something in the way of... Get a catapult, actually. Uh, we're going to need some defences and something that, to attack with as well. Um, we're just pumping out more wizards here. And we'll just patrol those guys. Okay, patrol. So let's just check out, I mean, he's in an alliance with us, but he's chaotic. This is this is why he's gone for that alliance, rather than going for a wizard pack first, because he's chaotic. He's just a crazy person. Um, he's got 15 fame, he's got 15, he's got two. He's an alchemist, interesting. Cult leader as well. Increases the power generated by religious buildings by 75% and unrest reduction by 50. Yeah, that's pretty interesting. While we're here, let's get some power in. 
Um, I probably want to be get just going a little way into trying to get some casting casting skill. We don't want to get left behind in casting skill at all. Okay, what have we got this time? Bloodlust. Excellent. Okay. Uh, detect magic is a great spell. This is a this is a, a kind of a spell that everybody can get hold of. And it en enables us to see what everyone's casting. Uh, the issue with it is it will increase the turn times ever so slightly because you get to see what everyone is casting, but it's not a big problem. It's it's worth having. Let's just patrol that. <laughs> Let's move this manually. It's, it's gone. It's gone all the way it can this time. Okay, so we've got what three magicians? I don't think that might um that might be enough. Will three be enough to take down those gargoyles? I think so, yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, no, 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 no. Not just you. I want all of you to move in. There we go. <laughs> that was a bit close. Okay. This should be... We, we should manage this one now. Whoa, that's still really strong. Super strong. Okay, let's just get these uh, defending my magicians, and then we're gonna have to do some expert. Oops! No, 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 no! Wrong button. Okay. <laughs> no! Off! 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 Ah! You damn auto button! I hate you so much. <laughs> ah, and relax. Okay, so that wasn't the end of the world. So let's just move these guys back, and there we go. We won. <laughs> Oh, I love wrestling with Master of Magic's user interface. It's just a little game in itself. <laughs> okay, so we managed to clear those ruins, which is great, because now we can actually move these settlers. So let's get these settlers back. And just patrol. I'll actually move this guy out now. I think he we he might be better off. Wraithform. Get Wraithform on him, on him for a start. Make him a little bit more durable, Zaldron. He's our only hero now as well, so now that we've lost Serena. Um, I'm going to move him up this direction. And get him a little bit closer to the fight. Pump out more magicians. I'm going to pump out magicians like they're going out of fashion. Okay, so we've got Greyfair of the Druid. He's another, again, another spellcasting ranged unit. This is great. We're getting, we're getting some decent ones. He's good as well. I like this guy. Uh, he's got Ice Bolt, Petrify, um, so he can turn an entire enemy unit to stone. Web, which is brilliant against flying units because if you cast Web on a flying unit, it will fall to the ground, and then you can attack it with, uh, you can attack it with your ground units, which is really useful. You can create a catapult. Uh, he's, uh, he's a ritual master, so. Uh, he generates raw magical power equal to her uh, experience level every, uh, times six every turn. So that's also really useful. Again, this is one we don't want to be losing. I mean, we don't really want to lose any of them. But okay, so we created this. Uh, we've created a shrine there. Get these magicians coming. Oh no! Why did you travel this way? God damn you, Master of Magic. Okay. Okay, so we've got him as a backup, uh, Grey Fairy. In fact, Grey Fairy can actually, he can actually uh, use Purify as well. I forget what was in here. Oh, it was werewolves. That's right. We could clear this now, and we could clear it because we've got, we've probably got enough, enough of these um, magicians. So leave this guy here. All the rest are going to go north. In fact, I might even move him out with them. So, yeah, that's a, that's a good job. That's a good job for them to do, to take out these werewolves. Um, plenty, it might take a couple of rounds of loaded wizards, but we can do it. 
Okay. Let's just move these separately. There we go. We're going to separate them out and just patrol those two. Send these wolf riders out this direction. Okay. Let's get these werewolves down this direction. Okay. Looks like you can't. It, it just moves the uh, floating island there. Ah, look at that. We've literally just cleared that. Oh, not again. <laughs> these damn barbarians. Brutal. Um, what can I do here? I just don't think there's anything I can do. Right, I don't think... Look. Are they, ah, they're, okay. At least they're not as strong this time. That's a little bit more fair. So... Uh, do I wait for them to get closer? No, I probably want to shoot them now, so... At least I've got halberdiers this time, they are a lot stronger. I don't think these are going to do much damage to these, um, to these gargoyles though. Yeah, they've barely taken any damage. Think about what spells I can use as well. Um, it's quite a long way away, so these the spells are really expensive. Relatively expensive. Uh, I, I thought that was a long shot. It's relatively cheap, though. Okay. Um, those halberdiers did well defending themselves that time. Okay, we managed to cast Black Sleep, so that's great news. They're dead. Okay, that's that's one unit down. Swordsman, Swordsman, Javelin is. Here we go, let's try and take out these Gargoyles. Okay, we're doing some more damage now, that's better. I think we might, we, we, I think we've got this. I think we've got this. Okay, excellent job. So, Lizardmen Halberdiers, they are not bad. Not bad at all. Especially with magic weapons. See, magic weapons probably enabled us to get through this gargoyles... Um, sorry, through the uh, the weapon immunity of these things, so... Uh, I might just auto this now. There we go, okay. I panicked a bit there. Get these werewolves. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, we can get one more unit in there. There we go. All right, this is now. This is a decent garrisoning force. Um, I don't want any more javelineers there now. I think I'm going to get start building the city up and try and make use of these resources that it's got. Shrine up quick. So we uh, just sort out this deficit here. Ah, oh, no, we don't want to do that. I want them to. I want them to come out in one turn. Can this time? Yeah, we need. Uh, we we are because of all these magicians we're building. We're starting to get eaten into our food. Uh, I think what we need to do is just create more werewolves. This was our original strategy, and I've kind of forgotten about it. So we've also got the ability to cast bloodlust now. Bloodlust is a decent spell, and I should be use I should be making use of it because it will turn them undead, and I'm pretty sure that they won't use any food then. Uh, okay, I'm going to send this guy out to purify. Put these wolf riders in here. What have we got here that we can get rid of? Orc swordsmen are absolutely crap at this point, so I think what we'll do with them is I'll 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 cast bloodlust on them. Oh, there we go. So it's 
So uh, I'll, I'll cast that again. Let's make sure we've got enough power for it. Okay, we've not got quite enough casting skill. So you'll see this guy now, um, he's got Bloodlust, which means he's doubled melee attack power against normal units and becomes undead. So look, he's got no upkeep. So if we cast, if we keep, if we keep casting this, we'll eventually... Um, these garrisoning units, we kind of want them to be undead, really, because we don't want them taking up any any valuable space. And they actually, they, it makes them a lot better. They're, they're a lot stronger. They're just immune to a whole bunch of stuff, too. Um, right, so the next job is to try and take these werewolves out, I think. That's what I, I wanted to do. With that in mind, we need to keep uh, getting these magicians. Let's move them here and see if we can... Now, I don't want... I don't think I'll do this in one round. Mind you. Maybe... Maybe uh, I might be better off with werewolves for that job, thinking about it. Yeah, maybe so. Okay, where are these guys going? These are going to go and help out with this purification job. Um, I don't want any more of these now. Start kitting out this city. Sages Guild will get some research going. Why not? Oops. Sorry, guys. Uh, spells. I think I'm just going to take my mouse sensitivity down a bit. There we go. Okay, so, yeah. Let's go for this bloodless tactic. I think this this might be an idea. We'll just start um, freeing up some soldiers. Freeing up some food, if, if uh, nothing else. Get this guy in our home city, I think. He's going to be sat there just chilling out on his own. Ah, we've got that settler as well. I'm just going to auto this settler so that it goes to where I want it to go. There we are. Make sure we've got enough guarding in here. Yeah, we've got plenty in here. Especially with the hero. So, um, I might be able to... Hmm. Yeah, bloodlust. Actually, uh, Bloodlust on Wolf Riders could be pretty strong. Because that's a pretty strong attack. Now, um, I just want to check to make sure that these Bloodlusted units kept the magic weapons. Yeah, they did. Okay. That's fun. So, let's just patrol those. I don't want this hero in there, I don't think. <clears throat> okay, he can't move that turn. Oh, okay, so they've attacked with a bunch of hellhounds. I'm probably fast enough to escape. They've got move three. We've got move five. I'm pretty sure I can escape this. Um, I'm not going to try anything funny here. I'm just going to flee. So Un's completed a shrine. I'm going to Shaman up straight away. Uh, we've got another Bloodlust spell here, so... Let's get it on. Let's get it on the uh, these wolf riders. Now I'm probably gonna uh, when these werewolves come in, I'm gonna probably lose a fair amount of my units anyway. Um, but I want to clear this. I want to clear this out. Now, as I said before, I don't want to lose a hero there. Get some magicians in. Oh, there's too many there. We, yeah, these should be able to hold the front line off while I do some damage with the magicians. Let's have a go at this. Lots and lots of werewolves, look. Now, ma these magicians, they can all cast things like Fireball. So, even if we can just whittle them down to, you know, just a few left, I'll be happy. I don't mind if I lose this army, honestly. So, let's go for... What can we get here? Fireball. 
That did a fair amount of damage, so let's try that again. Okay, that's whittled those guys down. One more move. So let's move these guys back and I'll cast another fireball. Um, let's do that again. Okay, that's another unit gone. Um, let's hit the fireball on there. Okay. Let's even things out a little bit. If we can su just survive a little bit longer... Ah, oh, we've lost we've lost one unit now. So, yeah, let's see what happens. Okay, they can't cast any more spells. So these guys are now... They are reduced to running and shooting, <laughs> essentially. They've got a strong attack, though. Let's see what else we can get in. Get these ones that are closest to us. One, two. There we go. And let's. Wolf Riders in too. Uh, let's just move those back so that we keep them out of harm's way a little. Okay. Okay, the werewolves have got into our magicians, uh, line of magicians now, so uh, our game is up. We've got to be very, very careful now. Oh, they didn't get to attack. That's a shame. I made a mistake there. Never mind. Uh, let's see what we can cast. Ah, oh, weakness. There we go. That will make things a lot easier. Uh, we've got two ammo left, so... There we go. Game over. Awesome. So we gained a fame for that one. And we found a staff and a cloak. So we got some magic items. Uh, plus two staff of protection. So yeah, so there's magic items in this game that you can find. And you can also forge your own magic items as well, which is great. And it's there's so much you can do with it. Um, heroes are quite hard to kit out, actually, um, at the start of the game. But they become ridiculously powerful towards the end. So this one gives us plus two attack, plus one defense, plus one movement, and plus four resistance. This is a really good, this is really, really good. Let's give that to Zaldron. Okay, we don't have enough ma uh, mana to transfer it over. Hold on, let's just put put it here for a moment. Oh, we've got a Cloak of Wizardry too. Plus three defense, plus ten spell skill. Wow, that was awesome. Let's just transfer some power. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put all these on one guy, I think. What was that one again? Plus three defense, plus ten spell skill. Okay. Uh, so this has significantly increased his abilities. Like he's got extra attack, extra armor, extra resistance, and um, he's got extra spell skill now. So he'll be able to cast more, I think. Uh, he's got plus. He's got more movement. He's got resistance. Yeah, this is that was great. That was that was well worth doing. And I didn't even like lose any. I think I only lost one unit there, and I was a bit smarter with things that time. To be fair, so. Okay, we still want some of these guys. Um, I want to cast Bloodlust again. Getting plenty of gold each turn. Uh, the problem that we've, we've got now is more that we're running out, running low on mana. Um, I wonder if I can rectify this situation. Uh, we've still got 79 research points. I might just put everything into mana a few turns. Yeah. There we go. So uh, we're getting 4 38 mana a turn. That's just going to go some way towards helping things a bit there. Helping that deficit 
So let's get Zaldron, who's now beefed up with some magic abilities. I'm going to keep him there. Keep them there as well. Okay, so we're gonna have, that's that corruption is going to be gone pretty quickly. Uh, engineers, I want to move this direction now. In this direction, I kind of. I was probably an idiot to go for an alliance with Merlin here. He's chaotic, and he's probably not going to keep it. And I, it would be better for me just to keep sweeping up these villages. But never mind. So be it. It is what it is. Just get those guys patrolling for the time being. Okay. There's the tech magic that I wanted. So, uh, drain power. That was something I was hoping to go for. Uh, Possession's a pretty good spell. This basically allows you to switch the allegiance of an enemy, and there's a there's a dice roll that you make, and if you if you succeed, you get to keep the uh, keep keep the unit until the end of the turn. Uh, oh, sorry, until the end of the battle, and it fights for you. And at the end of the game, at the end of the battle, then it just dies basically. So it's kind of a one shot kill thing, except better. Problem is, it doesn't work that regularly, so it's a bit of a gamble. Um. Black Prayer is a great spell. The attack strength and defense of all enemy units is reduced by one and their resistance reduced by two. That's a really useful spell. Night Stalk is also going to be good and so is Shadow Demons. Um, but I think I might take Drain Power because I had an, I had that in mind. Oh, wow. What are these guys now? Uh, let's put Bloodlust on these halberdiers. Animus Guild, so we can start getting some more food harvest. Oh, wow, that's going to take a long time, though. Um, Farmer's Market? Yeah, that's quicker. we notice so we're having to uh, put more and more people into this job of farming, and that's not good. We don't want to be keeping doing that. It's uh, it, That does become a problem eventually, because you're pretty much just su supporting huge armies. How many have we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six Hellhounds. Let's get this werewolf wizard army up. Um, they're going to attack us, aren't they? So let's... Move this. Um, go for fighters guild, maybe. Oh no, we still haven't got the alchemist guild here. This definitely wants to become a unit production place eventually. Oh no, we don't. That's It was this one here, wasn't it? And this one down here. She sadly died. Okay. Yeah, there we go. There was the iron ore. It's going to patrol that one. There's loads of space here. So, I mean, really, we want to be kind of... It would be good to... Ah, oh, we can't put anything here, can we? There's plenty of space over here, though. It's just difficult to actually get anything out there. Horsebowman, pikeman, 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 right. Um, let's just move these guys back. Yeah, maybe next turn I'll, I'll attack with them. Oh, we've already done this, so let's just patrol that unit. Okay, guys, I'm going to end the episode there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next episode. If you've not liked and subscribed, please do that. It's really, really helpful for us if you do. Okay, take it easy. Bye.